At this point, we're going to now do a data table. If you remember, a data table is a great what if tool. You get to see a lot of options based upon one function or for one function. Um, in this case, we want to find out how quantity affects the annual profit loss. So we, we're going to look at a range of Q or a range of possible quantities and see how the profit and loss change. Now the data table is just one way of doing this and it's a very easy way of doing it once you understand what's going on. So to begin with when you're asked to do a data table you're going to need a heading and column titles. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to call this data table to show annual profit as a function of production quantity. So this data table, just as we've put on this title, is going to show the annual profit as a function of production quantity. Uh, we're going to use these two columns. The first column is where we're going to hold the what if quantity. So in other words, we're going to look at a range of values of production quantity. Uh, the next column is going to show us the profit, the annual profit. I should put annual profit. Now to construct a data table, we need to start with a function. Now the function we're going to use is the annual profit function from above here. And so we basically just hit the equal sign once we've selected the cell and click in the cell where the function is coming from and we've done that so we push enter it looks the same right now and then and that will be okay um, now it's time to select well actually first we're going to enter in the possible production quantities and we start on the next row down from the first row where we have the initial formula we start the next row down now we're gonna start at zero quantity and we're going to move upwards by 500 units each time that we increase um, one shortcut method you can use to sh to drag this down is select the first three that you input and then drag down by now you can't see the mouse like I can see it but you'll get over this this little black box in the corner and it will change to a black plus sign. Once it's a black plus sign you're going to click on it and drag downwards. You see it tells you what number it's going to automatically put in the cell to the right. We're going to go down to 7,000 units so we're going to look at all the production quantities from 0 to 7,000 jumping by 500 units each time. Now we can construct a data table. You want to select the first row that includes the annual profit function and then drag down and select both columns down to 7000 production quantity. From here we go to the menu data and we select table. Once we've selected that, we have a dialog box that says table. The one that we want to enter is the column input cell because our quantities that are going to manipulate the annual profit are in a column. That's what it means, the column input cell. Now, we don't just click the column or anything like this. What we do is we find where Q is located above and it's located in this cell and that's the cell that we enter into this dialog box because this is where the original function gets the quantity from so once that's done we now have the column input cell selected and all we do is push OK 
and it automatically calculates all of these losses or gains based upon this quantity. And that is how you construct a data table.